Good morning everyone and welcome to Sandy's Creative Connection. I'm going to show you today a watercolor technique and of course um, a special stamp set that is in our new holiday catalog and it is called Painted Harvest. Here is the stamp set. And what you'll need to create this card is the following. You've got three, four different colors. Cherry Cobbler, Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie, and Espresso. So I'm going to open these up. Get them ready. Now the sizes of cardstock will be in the recipe. Um, but I will post with this. The size um, card stocks are here. This is your card base. I'll just say it real quick. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half. That's your card base. So we're going to fold that in half. And then we need a piece that I've already embossed and I embossed it with Petal Burst embossing folder. And that is four by five and a quarter. And let me pull that back in just so you see where everything goes. This is the Daffodil Delight and it is, oh, let me measure that because the recipe might have had it a little different um, and I'll change it. Uh, it is three by four. So it's a three by four and then watercolor paper, which is two and a half by three and a half. So here's the technique. This is watercolor paper and a spritzer. We sell it all, of course. And I'm just going to spritz out this water, the water onto the watercolor paper. Then I'm going to ink up in pumpkin pie. Uh, this stamp set's a two-step stamp set. So I'm going to grab the bottom layer. I'm going to stamp one at the bottom, and I like that fuzziness, and one at the top. I like it. So now I'm going to go to Cajun Craze. This stamp is just a little bit more detailed. Okay, and I'm going to put Cajun Craze on top. And then I'm going to grab the center of the stamp, of the flower, sorry, and I'm going to put it into Cherry Cobbler. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then there's these little tiny dots. Well, first of all, we're going to let this dry. Oh, no, sorry. Got to get my leaves in there. Almost forgot. And my leaves are done with... Um, old olive. So we're going to open up old olive and we're going to put a set of three leaves. On there. And I think I'm happy with it. Now at this point, you're going to want to let it dry. You can either do a um, embossing gun to dry it off, or you can just let it set there. Now the reason why I do that is because the next images I want to be crisp images, not this somewhat blurry. Uh, and if you get too much water on this, and you want, um, and your your leaves like get really fuzzy. See, I like the fuzziness. I like it to run because to me that's the watercolor. So I'll actually go back in and re-spritz it, hoping it'll run. Because what you can do is take your, your stamp back over it to give it some type of form if, you're, if it gets really, really fuzzy. All right, so once it dries, then we're going to pick up the little 
um, center pieces of the it's this little dot little dots we're going to use early espresso we're going to put those right in the middle yeah so see how sharp and then we have the words which is I'm thoughtful for you thankful for you jeez you use espresso and again I wanted it to dry because if I don't then the words will run and I don't want that and watercolor paper is also um, very bumpy so that it or, um, absorbs you know it holds water so sometimes you just kind of have to let it now see the difference this one I did not let it dry. You see how fuzzy the words are? This one I let it dry and the words are not as fuzzy. So what I will do with the ones with the fuzzy is I'll actually put a piece of um, decorative oval punch or something over the um, top of it. But that's the basic technique and I'm going to put it on top of my yellow. And I'm going to take my fingernail. This is an old, old way to Back when I started 15 years ago, we did this, where you take your fingernail and you go around the edge. And once this water paper dries, I'll go around the edge, scuff it up, and then I'll put the burst leaf burst on there, and um, I'll be done. Oh, and my, paper, my twine, my linen thread. So, but the main thing is I wanted to show you how to do this watercolor technique. So... Give me some comments at the bottom of my blog, and if you try this, if you would, send me a, one of your photos and I'll upload it. Okay, uh, go stamp something.